I'm uh, here today uh, on behalf of my state organization, which is the Connecticut Council of Governments. We are the association of nine councils of governments, the executive directors across the state. We report directly to all 169 chief elected officials. My name is Rick Dunn. I'm the executive director of the Naugatuck Valley Council of Governments, which stretches from Waterbury down into Fairfield County. I am here today to speak in opposition to House Bill 7138. Um, we do understand the motivation behind this legislation and generally support the concept of setting a high level transportation, transportation agenda. A policy board with input into the state transportation agenda has some merit. However, neither the legislature nor the state is well served by the proposal before us today. I refer you to the debate surrounding the General, General Assembly's creation of the state's transportation strategy board in 2001. It was determined during that process that the state cannot empower itself with exclusive control over projects that are federally funded. Longtime federal policy deemed such projects are driven from the bottom up, originating with the support of municipal chief elected officials. This bill proposes to strip that authority to plan uh, and also to program transportation projects from municipal CEOs. When these provisions for a similarly, similarly constituted TSB were removed from the final legislation in 2001, what remained was basically a toothless organization that only served to increase costs and extend delivery times of projects. CONDOT has made tremendous strides under the current administration in the efficient on-time delivery of these projects. Many, if not most, of them have been delivered ahead of schedule over the last four years. This legislation would reverse that project. Um, I'll refer to uh, the balance of my comments, which I've submitted uh, for your benefit. Um, with the chairman's permission, I would like to make a brief statement, not on behalf of CTCOG, but in regards to the tolling bills. Uh, thank you. So, in regard to the four tolling bills, as well as uh, Representative Steinberg's bill, which I did not include in my comments, but I also want to express support for, uh, I wanted to address a couple of quick concepts. Um, Representative Carney, I believe, raised some of them earlier. Better than a lockbox would be to establish a separate authority, an operating authority for highways to collect tolls to be responsible for their maintenance. Um, that would also allow the state to enter into an many more P3 agreements, public-private partnerships, something that uh, Connecticut does not avail itself of. Um, I can tell you, you know, as a, and then there's the fairness and equity issue. And I'll end my comments there and be happy to address any questions from the committee. So, uh, thank you, Rick. So, obviously, you're, you're opposing 7138. So Correct. Why is it though, just so I can have a clear understanding, is it because that you feel as though that it just may bog down the whole system? Well, first off, the, f the first, I believe it's under Section K-1, um, the, the powers to amend the state uh, transportation investment plan. Uh, that's not a power you can grant to yourselves. Uh, the this, this STIP is a federally mandated document. And that document is created by the TIPs that are created by the MPOs, the chief elected officials at the local level. So the STIP can't be amended until the TIPs are amended by the towns. It's just not a power you can take on. This was subject to debate in 2001. Thank you. And um, 